All right, today on Arts and Crafts, we're working on second gen again. Um, we are gonna pull, because I have a K27, which we're gonna do unboxing in a second, we're pulling this turbocharger off. This is that Super 9 60 mil turbocharger. Cause I wanna try, I wanna compare it to a K27. And then after we run that for a little bit, we might put this one back on again and do some comparisons. Um, I have to find my draggy. I do have a draggy, but I don't know where it is at the moment. So as soon as I find that, we'll do some comparison videos. It's not very hard to, hard to swap the turbo over. So it's, a, you know, maybe take 45 minutes or something. So it doesn't take that, that long to do. So let's go over here. Jason's hot and horny to open the box up. So he's standing here with the knife in his hand, box half open. Oh! <clears throat> And one box, the K27. Yeah. See? We don't need that where we're going. Hmm. Just so you guys are aware, none of this is sponsored. This is sponsored by me. So basically what comes in the package for any of you guys that never opened, it comes with a bunch of gaskets, if you so shall like. Um, the only thing, one thing is that this is a divided housing. It does not come with a divided gasket. Super handy. Anyways, just thought I'd mention that. Comes with all of your instructions, your warranty certificate, which actually is not even in English. But anyways, I don't think I've ever filled one out, to be totally honest with you, because they never warranty turbochargers anyway. So, the specs on these things, it's a 60 mil compressor wheel. Uh, 65 turbine side with a, I don't remember what size the, the actual housing is. Not very big. But anyways, that's how big it is. What we're going to do is we'll get the other turbocharger off and we'll compare the two side by each and uh, see what we got. But I know that the compressor, or sorry, the compressor side is basically the same size on this versus that one. It's just the turbine size that's different. And then I believe that the housings are very similar size too. I'll put it up. I'll put it here somewhere. I can't remember what size these housings are. I know that it does tell you somewhere, but I can't remember. It doesn't on the actual housing though. So that's all right. We'll go over to the truck, um, throw you guys in a time lapse, get that pulled off, and then we'll do side by side. On that, Jason's going to pull it off because he wants to pull it off, and I'm more than more than willing to let him pull it off because I've already done it lots of times. So Jason got the turbocharger off. I just wanted to show you a couple differences here before we put the other one on. So if you look at how big the turbine wheel in this one is, and then this is also a different design versus this one. Oh, let me get the light in there. The, the turbine wheel is definitely considerably bigger in the one from Savage Fab than the K27. But different designs. He designed this one to flow more for higher or for higher horsepower stuff. But I want to try the K27, and this is, when I put compounds on this truck, it'll likely be this turbo that I use for the compounds, because I want to set a super fast spooling compounds. Um, and this one doesn't spool quite as fast as I was hoping it was going to, but some of that is probably because of the size of the turbine wheel. And at, a, at sea level, this probably would work fantastic compared to how it works right now. Um, not that it's bad, it's just I don't really like singles, so that's probably why. So, um, on the, com uh, the compressor side, very similar size, different style of wheel. 
Um, same blade style, or blade count I should say. They're both 60 mils, so basically the same size, but one thing you can notice, note is that the center shaft on the compressor wheel itself is considerably smaller than this guy. How much difference that makes is probably neg negligible, but just something to note. Um, so we're gonna throw this in the truck um, and then see how it works. So something I wanted to note to you guys is how to adjust the wastegate. The wastegate on this one is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is loosen this nut and then turn the bolt and that'll tighten it in. But he's got it set pretty good. They're set at like 40, right at the 40 mark. Now I know this one is, these ones are a little lazier, so I want to tighten it up a little bit. Super easy to do, just two jam nuts, 10 mil. All you gotta do is loosen it, and then all you're gonna wanna do is, oh, if I say, do the right one here, and then we need to tighten it up a bit because we're gonna want a little bit more. I don't know how much that's going to be, but that's how much we're going to use to start with. Because it's much easier to adjust it right now, and I know that it's on the lazy side to start with. So we're going to go back into time lapse. Jason's going to throw this thing back in, and then we will catch you when we are going for a drive.
Wibbly mug. <laughs> yes, the turbo is finally in, folks. Are you gonna fucking show them or not? Okay. All right. <laughs> they don't want to fuck it. They want to. All right, folks. There it is. Turbo is installed. We're gonna back it out. We're gonna let it warm up. We're gonna take it on a road trip. Stay tuned. Like it better on the other one? Well, I like the sound better. I don't like the way it works compared to this one. This one works yeah. Normal driving, it seems cooler. It runs cooler than normal driving, yeah. Sure. It definitely doesn't have to be top end power, I don't think. But we were really looking for top end power. Now you got all the excuses in the world to get another one. <laughs> well, I don't need excuses. I'll just order it. <laughs> I already ordered the compressor up, the compressor wheel for it. Oh yeah. That's already been ordered. I ordered that two weeks ago. I already, I already figured I was doing this. <laughs> didn't peg the gauge at 1500. Yeah. And I don't have the water meth on. Water meth's on. Oh. Done now? No, it's off. Right? Oh yeah. And it didn't peg 1500. Definitely getting better then. So either I needed to drive that turbo even harder than I was driving it, or something's wrong. Because I shouldn't be down in power in less EGTs without water meth. I should be higher EGTs. Well, the only the only other way to test that other turbo is to put it on my truck. Yeah. <laughs> have more power than what we have now.
right guys so we got the k27 all swapped in everything's to be working pretty good i'm actually pretty happy with the way it spools i like it drivability wise nicer than the other turbo that was in it um, it does make less power than the other turbo but i like the drivability of it being i'm driving around in town and stuff 99 percent of the time with this truck i do like the the drivability of it more but that being said i want more power so I'm gonna romp around with it like this for a while probably, but I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 this winter we'll be putting compounds on it. Uh, so we'll probably, we'll use the K27 probably with another turbo. Not sure what turbo yet, but we'll figure that out. So everything seems to be working okay, no problems. But like I said, I do like the drivability of the K27 versus um, the Super 9. But like I said, it does make less power. Um, it, you can feel that it makes less power. So is what it is. Um, I knew that it was gonna make less power because the turbine side is considerably smaller on this. Design is different, so it doesn't flow as well. Um, but the heat, it, the, it seems that the temperature wise is just a little bit lower. So I'm not just 100% sure on that one, but it does work. Both of them work. It's a personal preference more than anything. I can't say that that turbo is worse than this turbo or this turbo is better than that turbo. It's all about how you like to drive. I like the drivability of this one better myself because it's a little nicer to drive. But if you were just driving on the highway or not in the city with it all the time, um, that turbo would be more than fine. And it works good, gets decent fuel mileage. I can't really complain. I just wanted the drivability of the smaller turbine wheel. So, like I said, it is what it is. So, call good on this one. Like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. And remember, it's not rocket science.